I'm gonna go over some simple shoulder rotation training that you can do, and my goal is that you get a yoga block or a pillow like I have here so you could run through this with me. But this is something that I show in my training all the time, although it's really hard to tell what the hell I'm doing because it just looks like I'm on the floor making funny faces. This is also something that I use when I train other people. So if I have somebody who, who comes to me with a shoulder problem, which is a very common occurrence, this is one of the things that we start working on and looking at because it gives us a lot of information about what we need to do from a joint specific training side and then also like what kind of stuff is also going to be appropriate just for general strength training because a lot of the people that I work with just also want to do strength training stuff. So all you're going to need a yoga block, a pillow, something, and we're just going to lay down and I'm going to give you as much information as I can without talking for 20 minutes here. So if we go into this side lying position, This is just to hold my head up so my neck doesn't get super tired being here for a few minutes. I'm gonna start with a straight arm. And if you're new to this, you're gonna keep your arm less than perpendicular to your torso. So instead of being out here, we're gonna bring the arm down at a slight angle, bend the elbow at 90 degrees, and then being extra diligent about keeping the back of your shoulder glued into the floor, you're just gonna go down into your end range of internal rotation. You're just trying to find where your arm stops moving without feeling like the back of your shoulder is starting to lift off the ground, all right? That just shows us how much internal rotation we have. And what we're really gonna focus on is this position and training the stuff in the posterior shoulder, which is basically your external rotators. They just happen to be in a stretched position in this end range of internal rotation. So the first step is, how does this feel to go into this position? And then just try to contract and work into a little bit. You can think about trying to contract the stuff that's in front of your shoulder, trying to pull it down. If that feels like a nice stretch in the back of your shoulder without feeling like the front is getting jammed up or uncomfortable, awesome, that's a good sign. Now say you're somebody who needs more internal rotation. The first thing that you can do here is just push down and lightly passively stretch. All we're doing is stretching your external rotators. It's important though that it feels like a stretch in the back. You might find that you go into this position and start to push down into more internal rotation and it just feels like more pressure in the front. If that's the case, Passively stretching in this position may not improve what you're trying to get. So in that case, you just move out of it a little bit. So if I can passively stretch here and I need more internal rotation, simple. I'm just gonna spend a couple minutes passively stretching. I don't want only passive flexibility there. I wanna be able to use that position. I want it to be strong. And typically this is not a strong position, mostly because we don't do shit here. Now I can do isometrics here. And if I do an isometric where I'm contracting that stretch stuff in the back of my shoulder, in the FRC world, that is called a pales contraction. That just means I'm pushing down with this top hand, I'm resisting internal rotation at my shoulder, I'm contracting that stuff in the back of my shoulder isometrically. If all is working like I want it to, when I push down here, I can feel that contraction in the back of my shoulder. I don't feel more in the front, it's just in the back. There's a wide variety of the way people's shoulders respond here. Often people will push down, they're like, I don't feel shit in the back, I just feel it in the front. If you're in that camp, working in this position is not gonna do the things that you want. Simple fix. You just back out of that end range, continuing to try to do that isometric until I find the angle that I really feel my posterior shoulder contracting. If that's the case, perfect. That's a great angle to start in. Now, the cool part about this is that we can adjust the intensity quite a bit. I can start off with really gentle isometrics that I hold for longer just to get my shoulder accustomed to being loaded like that. Now over time, long term, my goal for my own shoulder and all these folks that I work with is we can do that at a high intensity. What I mean by that is you have one, as much internal rotation as you're ever going to need for life, jujitsu, sports, whatever. So I don't know, for me this is, this is plenty. If I start to push and do that isometric, I want to push down and work oh, as hard as I possibly can. I mean, I'm literally pushing with all of my internal strength that I can develop with the goal of hitting failure in say 10 seconds. That just means that if I work that hard, I'm not gonna be able to resist that much force for longer than 10 seconds. That's a, that's a good indication that I'm working at close to my maximal effort or at maximal effort. And when I do that, I want my shoulder to feel okay doing that. I want it to feel like a lot of tension in the back and that stuff that's working, no pain, no discomfort, no lingering shitty sensations afterwards. And if I can get my shoulder to do that over time, my shoulder is gonna be super resilient in this position. It's also gonna be resilient in lesser ranges for sure because where we are the most vulnerable and the most undertrained is in our end ranges. This is a really simple way that we can start to do that. Now, there's tons of layers to this that we can add. We can add lots of intensity. We can change the position up, but this is a really simple position that you can start with. 
and just get a baseline of how your shoulder operates at that fundamental level. All right, if you have questions, please let me know. 